Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today and pressing play on the video. Um, I'm an um, independent Stamping Up demonstrator from the UK. Um, first of all, what I need to say is it's currently really hot in the UK. We're going through a heat wave. We've had, last couple of days, we've had highest temperatures ever recorded in my area. We live very close to Heathrow Airport and um, there have been very high temperatures there up into the, the low 30s actually high 30s I think 37 point something I think was recorded um, I like the low 20s so this is like about 15 degrees too hot for me um, and it is so hot in my I have to have my door closed in my craft room because otherwise the rest of the household will come and make a racket um, and I've got my fan on so the noise that you can hear in the background is my fan I'm really sorry hope you can still hear me okay but I it's just too hot to turn the fan off at the moment my hands are really sticky and I can't imagine um, trying to do any crafting without the fan on. Anyway, our project for today is this lovely wreath card. This is made using the lovely Arranger Wreath Bundle. So this is the stamp set. You get a stamp, a wreath to stamp. You get hearts, Easter eggs, partridge in a pear tree, um, flowers, leaves. So this would be a great stamp. You get Happy Easter, Merry Christmas, Happy Heart Day. Um, so it'd be great for Valentine's, for Easter, for Christmas, for birthdays. Loads and loads of possibilities with this set, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, and then the dies that go with it. So you've got that die. You haven't got a die that cuts that wreath out, but you've got a very similar die, this one, which is the one I'm using today. So I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to show you a little trick in a minute. I've got another one with these little bumpy leaves. You've got um, bow... Um, a little centre for this, these these dotty dots in here. That's a little centre for that. East, cut out the Easter eggs, cut out the leaves, some more little flowers, some medium-sized flowers, cut out the hearts, cut out the pears, cut out the partridge, some Ponsettia-type flowers, and this cuts out the leaves and another little bit of foliage and a circle there. I haven't quite worked out what that little circle is for. I'm sure I will in good time. It's probably to go in the centre of one of these flowers, I guess. Um, but anyway, lovely, lovely set. I've die cut all the pieces out that I need already. Um, I'm waiting for my Stampin' Up! new Stampin' Emboss, um, Cut and Emboss machine to come. And when it has arrived, I'll be able to do a lot more die cutting on camera. At the moment, my, my, I'm so embarrassed about my die cut because it's a die, die cutter because my big shot is such a mess. Um, so I don't you tend to use it on camera. Also, it's a big and bit big and cumbersome, and I'm hoping that the new Stamping Up one's going to be a bit more manageable, a bit less heavy, and a bit more compact. I think. Anyway, these are all the bits and pieces that you're going to need. You're going to need two wreaths, and you might wonder why. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. You need three flowers stamped and cut, die cut. So they're stamped on Whisper White and then die cut in one colour, and three in another colour. The two bits of the bow. And then you need 10 of these little flowers all together um, that are just cut from cardstock without stamping. And you need to make sure that when you cut them, you hang on to the tiny dots like that, that come in the middle, because we're gonna place them back in. So there we go, they're all the bits you need. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna take a piece of white cardstock, first of all. So we're gonna work on that. Actually, no, we'll do, the, we'll do the card blank first. So first of all, the card blank, I'm going to do it on Melon Ma Ma Mango Melody. So the colours that I'm using today are Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, um, Coastal Cabana and Ma Magenta Madness. So very nice summery colours. When I started doing this card, I meant to do it in summery colours and somehow it ended up a bit more spring-like, a bit more Easter-ish or whatever. So I'm going to do try and do summery today with nice bright colours. So this piece of card measures 28 by 14 because I'm going to make a square card so what I need to do is score at 14 and that will make my card blank so put that in there so this is going to be a square card um, I do happen to have envelopes in my stash it'll be okay for this um, they are quite easy to buy um, card blanks um, envelopes to fit this size if you need to we don't sell them at stamping up we haven't got this size envelopes but if you look on ebay or somewhere there's always people selling the right size envelopes right that's our card blank and then we're going to have i've cut out two pieces of whisper white which are both 13 by 13 so they leave quite a big gap 
around the edge so half a centimeter gap all the way around the edge and I'm just gonna glue that down with my Tombow and I'm using liquid glue partly because it's easier partly because in case I don't get it straight on the card blank I'll be able to give it a bit of a wiggle it won't dry straight away if you use a tape runner or you use um, double-sided tape or anything like that once it's stuck it's stuck so if you don't get it right first time you've kind of wasted your card blank there we are that's fine I think that's okay you can switch that over right okay what I'm then going to do is find the center of my my um, square so let me just find a pencil I'm just going to mark very very lightly so this is 13 so the center is six and a half and then this way six and a half so that's the center of my card and I need to know that because I want my wreath to be exactly central now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, one of our circle dies so it's the circle from the layering circles here they all are and I'm going to use the largest one because this is a little trick to make your wreath a little bit bigger because if you notice on my card there's my card and there's the wreath that I've cut out so you can see it's not as big as the one on my card so this is a little trick to make your wreath a bit bigger if you wanted to so I just want to make sure I've got that dot fairly central and then I'm just going to draw lightly round the outside of that die so it's going to be slightly bigger than the die would actually cut like so and that's going to give me a guide as to where to place my die so I'm going to take one of the dies and I'm going to snip in a, an opportune place so I'm going to snip here I'm just going to snip that little leaf off there like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this around my circle and from my second die cut I'm going to fill in that bit and that gives you a bigger um, a bigger die to work with so I'm just going to put some glue around my circle which is then going to mean I can stick my die on do this the other way you could glue the die if you wanted to um, doesn't really matter which way around you do it so I'm going to start here and I'm doing the joins down here because there's a lot going on down here there's a there's a bow and some flowers so I'm hoping that the joins won't show so much but whatever, wherever you do it you can place a flower over your joins and um, cover it up if it doesn't look quite perfect go so that's all placed around there like so and what you might want to do later is just come around I mean it doesn't matter if the leaves lift up because it just makes it a bit more realistic leaf but if you want them glued down you just need to pop a little bit of glue under them or like I say you can glue the wreath, wreath and then stick it down if you want to I just prefer to do it the other way right so I'm going to take my other wreath and I'm going to cut it where I've got a bit of a stem like so and then that is going to go from there to there. So if I cut off after that leaf, that should be perfect. And actually, let me show you how to do it. So the other way, so you can just glue a little bit on here, just catch some of the stem and some of the leaves, and then that will just work. I'm going to use my tweezers. And you've got a nice bigger wreath and you could actually make it even bigger than this actually you just need you do need you will need a guide a circle guide so if you've got a bigger circle that you could use you could make a bigger wreath but this fits fine on my card I don't need it any bigger right okay the next thing I'm going to do is my bow so we've got two elements to the bow we've got those those bows and I decided that it looked better if I just I think the other way up if I just glued them on top of each other like that it just looked a bit like a double double bow so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on here and a little bit on here oh, picking up these dots as I go and which means I'm probably going to lose some so I won't have enough to do the card at the end um, 
Let's hope that's not going to happen. Right, okay, and then that's going to go down here like so. Lovely. I'm going to put in a dimensional on the back there. One of our smaller dimensionals will fit just on the back there. And that's actually covered up one of our joins there so you can't see that join now and the other one is there and I don't think that's very visible either right we're then going to take five of our big flowers and we're going to place them equidistant so one at the top two down by the sides here and then these ones like so like that okay so then i'm going to take a big dimensional this time one of our large dimensionals and pop them onto a dimensional like so i do love this set i can see me getting loads of mileage out of this can't wait to start making some christmas wreath cards i think that would be very nice so, and actually it's going to be really nice to have something to use for Easter because quite often Easter gets forgotten about a bit. So it'd be really nice to have something ready to make for Easter when Easter rolls around. Long way ahead, I know. Let's hope that by Easter next year we're out of this nightmare, hey? Oh, how awful would it be if we were still trying to find a way through it? Um, and then this one. Of dimensional stuck on my finger now because it, I'd obviously taken the backing off without realising it. That's going to go there and this one down here. So I will use the dimensional that's stuck on my finger to put on there, down there. There we go. Yes, this is looking a bit more summery, isn't it? Um, and then we're going to come in with the little flowers. Oh, everything's sticking to my fingers because of the um, stickiness here it's very very humid we've got thunderstorms um, forecast for several days this week I think we've had so much heat right so we're then gonna glue this is magenta pink and this one is coastal cabana so we're just going to glue those in between so this is a real opportunity to use some lovely colors and then I'll take a Coastal Cabana first this time. So just two in between all the, the spaces. Really, really pretty. I quite like these little flowers. I might do a card with just using these little flowers, actually, without the big stamped ones. I think that would look quite pretty. There we go. And then... So you need four each of these and you'll know that we, we cut out five to start with so the other two are going to be for the inside of the card I don't think I showed you the inside I'll show you that in a minute there we go oh missed the missed the pot that I keep my Tombow in got my Tombow in a pot here with a damp piece of cotton wool at the bottom so that it's always ready to flow while I'm working, I always keep my um, Tombow like that and then it's always ready to use. The glue's always right at the tip and it's never clogged up, it's never dried up. It's a tip I learned from quillers. As some of you know, I'm a quiller. Um, and that's a tip I learned from some of my quilling friends. Right, there we go. Right, and then all we've got to do is go through and pop in the centers. So like I said, tiny, tiny little dots like this um, that's sticking to my and we're going to pop it in the opposite way round so here we're going to pop that one into magenta madness there's quite a lot of glue there but that will dry up um, and then we need a coastal cabana one picked up two there oh no i don't need a coastal cabana one not for there let's do the let's do another Trying to use the tiniest, tiniest bit of glue. So that will go in there. 
Now, of course, you could use rhinestones or pearls for the middles of these flowers. Don't need to use, or you could just put the same colour um, dot back inside. Completely up to you. So many different variations that you could do. Um, but I think it looks quite nice when you alternate them. Just brings it to life a bit. You'll see there's a right way and a wrong way for these little dots. They really are quite curled over. So like a little cup, really. Um, so you will see that. But you do have to keep an eye on these little dots. I've got a feeling I'm going to have lost one um, by the end. So you do have to be very careful when you're die cutting and taking them off the die cutter. And also when you're keeping them ready to use. Um, otherwise they're so easily lost. The other dots I lose are always the dot in um, the birthday from the well well written dies. I always forget to capture the, the dot and I have to cut another one. Right there we go that's all our stamping and die cutting done. Oh, not all the stamping we're just going to stamp a, a message inside here. So I'm going to rub out my little pencil mark that I made to just to know where the middle was and I'm going to use this. I'm going to do a birthday card again. And this time it is um, from Peaceful Moments. It's this stamp set with lots of different sentiments and quite nice fonts. So I'm using Happy Birthday. We've got a deeper, deeper sympathy and a thank you. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Thinking of you with all my heart. I've used that one to send a card to my mum. Who, as you know, she's in a care home. Haven't seen her since February. So that's beginning to um, make my heart ache a bit. Um, there we go. Right, I've now got um, inky fingers. So I've got a wipe here that I always keep handy when I'm um, stamping so that I can wipe my fingers. Um, they're just so sticky. It's so hot today. I think this is going to be my last video that I filmed today. I can't bear it. I can't bear it to be so warm. Maybe I'll get up and go to go, go to bed late and do some at midnight when it's a bit cooler. Just excuse my head if I'm in the middle here. I just need to make sure I'm getting this central and straight. Oh, that's okay. Lovely. There we go. There are our two cards. Brilliant. Um, so this one, that really brings that to life, actually, that purple happy birthday. Right, so there we are. Two wreath cards made with the Arranger Wreath Bundle. If you want to have a look at it in the catalogue, I can quickly find it for you. It is on page... Arranger Wreath. Page 127. On there, there it is. So some sample cards that they've made. There, an Easter card, a thank that give thanks card what I don't know and what some of you might be able to help me with is what is this stamp for I mean it looks a bit like a like a wooden box or something but I'm not quite sure what it's for I don't know it's very odd so if anyone knows what that stamp set is meant to that stamp is meant to be please leave me a note under the video or on my blog that would be really great or you can even email me if you like or send me a message on facebook i don't mind oh middle don't done the middle right there that that's what i did in the middle in the inside of my card so we've got some bits of greenery left over oh we've got to glue it in first let's glue our panel inside so I wanted it to be redolent of um, the, the front. I always want to just reflect what's going on on the front in a little bit of decoration inside. So I think one of these actually might be for my mum's birthday. It's her birthday in September. I'm really, really hoping that we can go and see her for that. Not that she'll know. I mean, she's she, the dementia has really taken hold since I've not been seeing her. So I'm, I, I'm probably fairly sure that she's not going to recognise me. But it doesn't mean that I won't know. So um, we will go and visit, I hope. Hope, hope, hope. Just worried that the, um, that the, the infection rate is going up a little bit in the UK. I'm hoping we're not heading for another lockdown, um, especially as the winter months come a bit closer that would be really awful right so I'm going to just stick that there and another little sprig that I've taken from that and I'm going to stick that there so this is why you needed some extra of the stamped and the die cut flowers 
so that's going there and then my spare gorgeous grape flower is going in the middle there no dimensionals because we're in this in the inside of the card now so we don't want any any layers or anything and then my two die cut flowers that were left over oh i haven't left enough space quite there let's move that up a little bit there we go so we'll put one one can definitely block there still don't seem to have a lot of space there um there we go how did i do it on here I must have, must have done it a slightly more inside on the last one. Let's see if we can make these fit. One there. And hopefully one here will just about, just about fit that in. Again, the wet glue is a godsend because I could lift that up and just move it over slightly. There we go. And I have got my two dots for the middle. Oh, what a relief. Thought I was definitely going to have lost one but I have got them sitting here. Again, a little bit fiddly, helped by the scissors, or you could use the sticky end of your take your pick tool. Um, but I use tweezers so much that I'm so used to using them. There, so that's the center done. So just a little bit of decorating there. So, mm, do you have a favorite? Actually, this is my favorite now. I love those bright colors. I love those summery colors i think it's lovely especially for this time of year but i do like this one as well but i think i think i might have liked that better if i put happy easter but then maybe these would have been eggs who knows anyway i hope you've sorry about my rambling hope you've enjoyed my card today hope you might give it a go if any of you have bought the arrange the wreath arrange a wreath um stamp set or bundle um i hope you'll give it a go and i'll be back again i'm sure i'll be using this set again sometime soon because i love it um, but anyway, that's it from me today. Hope you have a lovely day. Hope it's cooler where you are, or at least it cools down a bit. Um, and I will see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.